All right. Day one, waiting on students. Hopefully everybody will clock in. Hey Sandra, how are you? Hello, I'm excellent. Uh, I'm the only one in here. Right, yeah, right now you're the only one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what have you been doing the last couple of days? I was really busy because I applied to, to continue studying there at ITCA. So I have to accomplish a lot of tasks. And I have been really busy enjoying it because I love math. And this kind of math is not that difficult. I thought it was going to be more difficult, but I'm enjoying doing all these exercises. And I have gotten um, only 100 in every test I have, I have done. <laughs> wow, that's excellent. Yes. yes. Okay. After several years not doing uh, anything, mm -hmm. this is um this motivates me a lot. That's great. That's great. And how many uh, courses do you have to do? Uh, there are just one per week, and there are three in total. But I'm taking eight more online about English teaching something like that and I know that those courses are helping me are helping me to improve my English skills and vocabulary so eight, eight courses that's a lot of courses yes but the ones that there are from the other universities are more flexible that's oh, why okay yes. okay yeah I was thinking that's that's quite a bit of, of you know, that, it's really a lot. <laughs> yes, that's because I have a lot of free time nowadays. So, and all eight of them are from ITCA? No, just the one that I'm taking just now. Okay, that's the only one and the rest are from other places? Yes. Okay. From the U.S., other from London. I just take an advantage from them. Okay. That's great. Great to hear that. Okay. Yeah. I feel I'm proud. <laughs> yeah, you should be. It's great work. It's not easy to go back to school. I know. No. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're when you're not so young and, and you stop, because when yes. you when you stop for a few years, oh my God, it's so difficult to get back. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And beginning from from the bottom, it's worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because everybody, all of your classmates are so young and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I think more than anything, it just has to do with the fact that they have, they have practice of, of uh, being organized, doing homework, uh, you know, just being in school in general. And it's a different mentality that you have to get used to. Yes. I just take advantage of the, of the thing that I love going to school, so. I am playing those those things just nowadays. Okay, that's great. Well, we got a couple more people. I'm I'm happy to see we have uh, some. Um, I have to say I don't remember uh, 
Leonidas in our last group. Yes, yeah, true. It's my first time here because I couldn't uh, attend the first meeting. Oh, uh, okay. I, yes, yeah. I, I, I saw the name and I think, hmm. <laughs> yes. I, <laughs> we are, yes, it's true. We are a lot because we are more than 30, but, but hmm, Leonidas, I, I think I remember the name. It's just very, it reminds me of the movie, 300. Yeah, that's true. That movie is a good one. It's a good one. Uh huh. All right. Well, um, glad to have everybody back. This is obviously uh, part two. Um, in the case of uh, Leonidas, is going to be your first time with us. But this is the we're going to be looking at, or you should be incorporated into advanced two. Okay. This is advanced two, module two. Um, and it's going to be four weeks long. This week and next week, both weeks, we will have class on Friday. This is not normal, but because we didn't have class yesterday and we didn't have class on Monday, we need to make up two days. And the way to do it is by having class this Friday and by having class next Friday. But then it's going to be our normal schedule, Monday through Thursday. The time is always the same from 8 to 9 p.m. And of course, the grades that are important is the grades are on the platform. So you're not evaluated or the grades are not from the class, from the activities here in the class. They are from the activities that you do in the platform. Sometimes we do some of the activities here together in class. We talk about them, we complete them. But if you don't do it in your platform, it doesn't count. So even if we do in class, but if you don't do the exercise in the system under your name, you're going, it's not going to count and you won't have the grade necessary to pass. So make sure always to do it in your platform. And the minimum grade that you need in order to pass is going to be 80. Now, that means that if you get a 70, is you get a 70, you can do it again if you want and to get a minimum of an 80 or higher, or you can leave it. The problem is if you leave it, then in the next grade, you need to get 90 in order to balance. So I always recommend that if you don't have an 80, don't worry, do the exercise again. If you don't have time, go back another day and do it. But the important is to try it again, okay? At this moment, and I almost forgot, my name is Edwin, um, Edwin Cubillas. So at this moment, are there any questions or any comments about the platform? Well, no, no. I, I just have a question, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Carolina. Uh, are we going to have vacation? Yes, as soon as the class finishes in four weeks, which um, I think it was. Maybe this, the. the um, I, let me check. Hang on. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Because it is because we only have four weeks. So in the 21st. This is Monday, Monday 21st. No, it's going to be, we are going to finish with class. That's going to be one, two, three, four. The Thursday, December 17th. Seven. Okay. Yeah. So one week, one week before Christmas, and then we return to class in January. So we, we will have at least two, probably three weeks of vacation as a minimum because January 1st is a Friday and we don't begin class on Friday. So yeah, it, it's gonna, we're gonna have at least three, probably three weeks of vacation. Okay, perfect, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, Carol. Um, sorry, Lonitis, did you say you, did you have a question or a comment? No? Okay, does anybody else have a, any other questions or comment? No, in my case, my case, no. Okay, perfect, all right. All right, is this, um, just checking, is this anybody's first time uh, working on the platform? Is this anybody's first time on how to do the activities? No. All right. Great. But it looks like Leonidas had a little bit of a technical issue there. He got kicked out. 
All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make, we're gonna start off with um, making small groups. This should give us just enough time to get a few more people into our classroom. And what we're gonna do in the small groups is just taking a look at how or what we did over the weekend, because this was a little bit longer. Um, we were supposed to start on Monday. We ended up starting on today, Wednesday, at uh, two extra days, but it's still nice. So all we wanna do is just ask and answer. Remember, if we ask questions in the past tense, we use the word did. For example, I ask Sandra, what did you do? I ask Carolina, where did you go? I ask Karen, who did you do those activities with? I can ask Daniel, where, where did you, do whatever he mentions, okay? So if we ask questions for over the weekend, normally we use did. If you want to make a comment about an activity that you did and you want to ask your partner, then we don't use did. Then we normally use have, okay? So as an example, I can say to Carolina, I say, Carolina, I went surfing and I want to ask Carolina. I'm not going to ask Carolina, did you go surfing? I'm going to ask Carolina, have you ever gone surfing? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. I yes. have never. Yes. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at the past tense and we're looking at two different forms. The first form, the simple, is about this weekend. Like, did you, uh, where, who, what, the WH questions. The second form is where we're talking about with have. So I make a comment, I make a statement, or I want to know if my partner has done the same thing as me. I can ask them, have you? And then the whatever action. Only that the action is not in the past, it's in the past participle. So have you, I don't know, have you made, for example, today, my wife made pizza with rapiditas. Ah, I can say, Sandra, have you ever made pizza with rapiditas? I have never made pizza with rapiditas, not even any kind of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we can continue developing into our further topics. Now, today's topics, while we're discussing uh, when we get to our groups, today's topics are infinitives and gerunds. Does anybody remember the difference or can anybody help me to explain to the rest what is the difference between an infinitive and a gerund? I, I have an idea, well, what I remember. Tell us, Carol. Infinitive, it is a, infinitive, it is a verb that has the preposition to, like to jump, to walk, like that, and Darren finishing in ing. That's right, that's exactly it. The infinitive is with the verb to, normal, the verb, and the gerunds are the ones with ing, okay? Now today, this is our topic for gerunds and phrases. Um, just to make sure uh, we all understand, always we're gonna see a lepsin objective, which is just an explanation of what we're going to learn or do in that lesson. And this usually we just skip it because I, we can see the same thing in the part of the video, which is learning about infinitives and gerunds. Then after the videos, there's always a knowledge check. This knowledge check is obligation to do. You can never skip it, okay? The videos too, but the videos, I usually explain in class or we work together, but the knowledge check, this is where your grades come from. So when you do a, a knowledge check, this is the grades that we're talking about. This is where you need to get an 80 or more, okay? So the idea is, we can always do, it's usually in the same structure. We usually have an objective, have a, a little bit of video or something that helps us understand the topic and then we practice. The same thing for the next one, objective, a little bit of the video and then we practice. As you can see, this is pretty much the structure. Okay, are there any questions about how this structure is made up? No, no teacher. Okay. I've studied this before. All right, perfect. So as I said, don't worry right now about the using the, the grammar, which is the infinitive and the gerunds, but it's just to have in our brain because that's what we're going to talk about in, the, in a little bit. So right now, we're going to make small groups. Um, Leonidas, have you, uh, have you joined small groups before? Do you know how to? 
Well, no, not for now. Okay, let me explain a little bit I then. Haven't. Okay, no problem, just to make sure. I think you're, um, so what happens is we have two types of rooms. This is like the classroom, the big room, and this is where we talk, everybody can talk and ask questions about the platform or homework, or just the general one. But then, I, then we're gonna have like little groups. And in order to do those little groups, they're called little breakout rooms. So what happens is you receive an invitation. I, I create little groups and then I put, or the computer puts everybody into a different group. Only you have to do is hit uh, accept. It's going to be a message. Um, I don't remember what it says in Spanish because mine is in English. Does anybody remember what it says in Spanish? It's something like, uh, something about grupo pequeño or grupo something. Does anybody remember? Uh, it's something like um, the teacher is inviting you on in a small group or something like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Sounds pretty easy. So yeah. let's get ready. Okay, perfect. If you have any questions or if you can do it, just ask us and we'll help you. Okay. Did you receive an invitation, Leonidas? Only click accept and then you'll go to the small group. Hey, hey, Elias, welcome. I'm going to send you an invitation to join a group. Are you there, Elias? I'm sorry to be late, my coach. <laughs> no problem. I was just putting to you if you could hear me, just making sure that you were there. All yeah. right. Here. Okay, perfect. We are making already our small groups, so I'm going to send you to a group, and that way you can get started, all right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. to to get enrolled there and what did they tell I think, you um is I wrote them by message but they never answered me back so i went to the to the place and they told me that that happened because the the people that work in administration weren't going to to the academy so they never will they never answer because of that they weren't um, there yes so you have to wait yes okay teacher i sent the image and how it is the invitation to the group <laughs> i could take it you're a mute teacher we don't listen to you thank you thank you that <laughs> helps <laughs> <laughs> okay so I was in doing a lot of my two daughters and a lot of stuff in the, the school. Okay. How was your weekend? Mm, my weekend it was I think uh, maybe I didn't have a lot of um a lot of things um saturday i actually i take a rest all day at home and on sunday i went to the supermarket and and maybe in the afternoon actually i saw a, a football play game Ah, uh, in your house or uh, yes. in the park? Ah, okay. no, at home. Ah, okay. With your friend? And uh, no, with my with my cousin. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. 
Okay. And uh, tell me. Okay. In my case, is the um, I went to the to the beach and to the country with my family and when I will uh, <laughs> wait for the title. Ah, yes, that's cool. So uh, the the next year it will be like you you will finish your studies. Yes. It that's be, cool. That's great. Yeah, it will be it will be my my last semester in the university. Hey, congratulations. Thank you. Thank congratulations to you too because you already finished your <laughs> your major. You. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I'm just I'm just waiting for the graduating <laughs> <The title>. <laughs> <laughs> And well, what about my hobbies? Um, ah, yeah, my hobbies. I like taking pictures. I also love the computer. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I I like, um, for example, the design. I'm mm -hmm. not a dis uh, I'm not a designer, obviously, but. Ya estoy acostumbrado. Yeah. But uh, Caja de Crédito de Guayua have one agency in Sonsonate. Ah, uh -huh. uh, where, where, donde antes estuvo el Duicentro, el Duicentro. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, I know the place. Yeah, it's uh -huh. around, around, uh, let me see, around el Colegio Centro América. The Centro América School is in, in, in uh, a block. Near, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Near Caja uh -huh. Crédito de Huayú, Agency, okay. Mm -hmm. Then, yeah, in, 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 in how long, how, how, how long uh -huh. do you have to drive from, from your house to Huayú? Okay, I drive uh, around 45, 45 kilometers, uh, uh, of distance and 90, 90 kilometers and um, uh, back and forth back and f what back and back. forth back and forth mm -hmm. back and forth okay no 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 four but with with like the ordinal number the ordinal number fourth uh -huh. back and forth fourth mm -hmm. fourth yes fourth. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank teacher. Back and forth, 90 kil kilometers? 90 Kil kilometers. Kilometers, okay, 90 kilometers. This is all of the day. Every day, no, no, no all day. Ah, yes, yes, every day. Eh, yes, yes, thank you teacher. This You're welcome. Every day, every day, yes. But yeah, despite the distance. long distance. Yes, but I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, love to have my numbers like that. With a lot of tools and with a lot of things. Okay, mm -hmm. I will write you. So I'm looking for my. I will do it later, but I have it now on my notebook. Okay, that's good, Sandra. So we can talk. <laughs> and if you need my help, you know that I'm there. Okay, thank you. You're awesome. Yes. Yeah. That's it, women power. Yes, I <laughs> Yes, do you remember, right, teacher? I remember. Even today, today was the, an International Women's Day, right, for women movement. Ah, uh, yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of protests and a lot of people doing all of these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we are lucky to be always in the small group with Sandra. <laughs> yeah, <You> know, so we... <laughs> it's amazing because I don't make the groups. It, the computer the computer automatically generates the groups, but I, I swear almost every day is the two of you. I guess. Yes. So if, if we if we have if we were talking about something, we still continue talking about it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that we know each other now better. That's I enjoy great. doing that. That's yes. great. That's great. Uh,
Sandra, I forgot. What is it that you're going to study? I, I remember that you said you're at ITCA, but I, I don't remember what you wanted to study. I don't know how to say redes informaticas in English. <laughs> Network. Network. Ah, Network. That's, that's the same that I study. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got the same. Uh -huh. Yes, I were engineering. It. Yes. I took it before it had so you will have the curriculum English. Yes, and as I told you, you will have Cisco System Academy in English. Really? It's the one that I told you. Oh. Yes. Yeah, you will get it, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> the same. High five, Sandra. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and, I have five. <laughs> and, and Sandra, uh, make sure you get the certificate from Cisco because it's really expensive. And they give it, it to you. Yeah, yes, it's, it's very. It's very expensive. It's very expensive. And they offer it to you for free. If you pass it, they give you the, because it's international and it's, it's very expensive to get. So it's good if you get it. You will have four. Mm -hmm. really? You will have four. I have four certificates. Yes. That's really awesome. <laughs> you took the best. Yes, you took the best one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Because, I, I, you know, I, I studied um, computer engineering for a little while as well. Not, only, not, not because I need it, but just because I like it. I like to learn a little bit about everything. And mm -hmm. this, one of the things that they told me was the Cisco certificate, but it, it was like $300 each exam. Really? Yeah. So mm -hmm. and okay. and they and they give you the four for free. That's like more than one thousand dollars only in the exams. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I if I don't think they have a Spanish version. I think you have to do it in English. Okay. I don't remember. Yes, so you have to all the all the settings all the settings are in English. So you have to know how how to make it. I was telling Sandra that they I got an scholarship from. Is Banco Central de Reserva, mm -hmm. and they sent me to classes in, to have a technical vocabulary because you need to know the English and well, at least the technical vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So you have to do all the settings for for routers, for switches in in English. Mm -hmm. But I think that the yeah. exams are in Spanish. I think so. In the last version that I use, it was the four version. It was in Spanish, but the technical things in it was uh, in English. I think. I think so. If I don't remember. And where did you study, Leonidas? Well, I used to. I study in Instituto Técnico Ricaldone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know because it, it has something to do with the scholarship that, that they give you. So I don't know if it, if if because of the, the scholarship that the tests are free, they have to be in English or if they can choose the language to be in Spanish. Well, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Because the, in, in no, the school... I, at, mm -hmm. Go ahead, Carol. At, at ITCA, they gave you like no options. It's like you have to study it in this way and you have to study it in that way. Mm -hmm. So, because I didn't have the English knowledge that I have now, they sent me through classes and I had to study technical English okay. because I didn't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, the, so, it's probably some agreement with, the, with Cisco that it has to be in English. Yes, and even you have a subject called like that, like technical English, oh. or the, just for the setting. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to be looking at the small video. Here's infinitive and gerunds. Um, we're going to watch the video just to see some examples and hear the explanation. And then if there are any questions, I'll answer the questions or I'll give you more examples if you need them at the end of the video. Okay. 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 Perfect. Welcome to advanced module two. In our first topic, we'll go over infinitive and gerund phrases. We have studied this before, but don't worry, we'll explain it again so you feel comfortable with it. It plus be plus adjective or noun plus infinitive phrase is often used to comment on behavior. These sentences can also be restated with gerund phrases. It's rude to ignore your conversation partner. It's a good idea to try out different topics. 
Ignoring your conversation partner is rude. Trying out different topics is a good idea. The word considered may also follow be in this kind of sentence. It's considered impolite to interrupt people. Interrupting people is considered impolite. These sentences can also include the phrase for plus person or pronoun. It's customary for the complimenter to say nice things about others. Saying nice things about others is customary for the complimenter. We will begin our explanation by reminding you that gerunds and infinitives are both verbals. In other words, verbals are words formed from a verb but functioning as a different part of a speech, usually a noun. Gerunds are formed adding an ing ending and infinitives are composed of two plus a verb. In the structure just presented above, it becomes the subject of the sentence in the infinitive phrase. And ignoring, trying out, interrupting and saying are gerunds acting as subjects as well. Notice there's no changing meaning. Look at the following chart. Read it and decide whether they are using infinitive or gerund phrases. Okay. Definitely that chart is way too simple. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else thought that that was too small, but I think it's extremely small. Um, let me see if I don't, I don't think even if I take a picture that it's going to be able to, to see it, but let me see. Saying are gerunds a following chart. Read it and decide gerund phrases. Okay. I'll try to take a picture, but I don't think it's going to be too clear. Hmm. Yes, yeah, true, teacher. Even uh, what we see, I see like in, in low resolution, the things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get a picture of it, but to be honest, it's not. But all right, so that one probably is, is a bad image that they put in there and they didn't realize it. But the idea is that we're using these gerunds and infinitives and it's just saying the same thing in a different way. And what are we doing? We're just giving uh, content, we're commenting on behavior or attitudes and things like that, okay? So when we use it, it's, we have two different forms. We can start with the ing, that means start with the action the person is doing. As an example, ignoring or screaming or yelling, whatever action the person is doing. And then what you think about that. What is your opinion about that action? The other is you can automatically say what is your opinion. It's rude. It's not nice. It's impolite. Whatever your opinion is. And then the action. To ignore, to yell, to scream. It, that's the two different ways that we can use it. So one more time, what are the ways that we can use it? Beginning with the action and then your opinion or start with the opinion and then the action. Both have the same meaning. There's no difference between when you use one or the other. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions about any of those? Not teacher, I don't. Okay, um, I almost forgot to mention, I, um, and I forgot to ask, um, did everybody join the What's Up group? If you, if you don't know how to join it, it, in the email that it was the information for this class is also the link for the What's Up group. You just click on the link and then you are, you are added to the group, okay? So did everybody join the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes, teacher. I did, teacher, I did. Okay, yes. okay, perfect. In the WhatsApp group, I already sent the picture about the infinitives and the gerunds, which is uh, the examples and the explanation of what we're looking at right now. So, mm -hmm. perfect, thanks, Elanitis. Okay, so the idea is the, we're using those and it's just to give a statement, just to give your opinion, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go right now to our partners and we're gonna talk about um, what things are correct or not correct and don't worry about having to 
follow the instructions correctly, the grammar, the important is to start talking and giving your opinion. So what do you think is a good thing to do? So for me, for example, donating money, donating time to a children's hospital or to someone with cancer is, is a great thing to do in the holidays or giving food to the people in the street is, is better than giving them money, in my opinion. Do, do you understand what I mean? Yes, teacher. Yes, Carol, yes. Everybody's okay? Yes. Yeah, all right. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, instead of worrying about the grammar, we're gonna go, we're gonna give our comments about actions, about things, about attitudes or activities. And what do you think about it? Remember, you have two different forms. You can give your opinion first. It's very nice to give food to the people in the street. Or you begin first with the action. Giving food to people in the street is very nice. Kind of like this. Both forms are the same, meaning it's only what you decide that you want to do. All right. Let's make a little bit bigger groups um, so that way we can start getting more people involved. So now the groups are going to be three people in each one. Okay. Okay, perfect, teacher. Okay, only hit accept and you should be able to go to your groups. We hadn't received the invitation. Not yet? Not teacher, not yet. No yet. Okay, let me try it one more time then. Hmm. Okay. No, not yet, teacher. Not yet. All right. Let me cancel this invitation. No, oh, yes, teacher. I received it. Oh, yes. Ah, but you canceled it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's true. Uh, <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try it one more time. I don't know what was, what happened there, but let's see. Okay. I received it. Teacher. Okay. All right. Let's try this one. Hello, Sandra and Leonidas. Hello, Karen, Leonidas. So let's do a comment of the things the teacher sent to us. Well, I think that um, the things that say the, the teacher about the giving food to the people on the street, uh, it's a good thing instead giving money to them because sometimes they have um, they spend the money if you give the money uh, in some drug like alcohol or something else. What do you think, Karen? Uh, I don't like to give money to these people. I prefer to give uh, to give them, for example, um, I used to to buy in the supermarket um, a bag of, of cookies mm -hmm. or a bag of milk. And I used to, to give these people these kind of things. For example, if it was a, an old woman, I gave her uh, a milk, mm, a nice. bag of milk. And in, if it was a, a children, I gave him uh, some cookies, for example. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So not money, but food, Karen. Yes, not money, but 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 food because you don't know if, if there maybe they could buy um, alcohol, uh, beers, or something like that. Yeah, I think so. The same. 
Same. Teacher, what about just opinion of of whatever thing or it has to be about the uh, like something uh, about just it could be whatever opinion yeah 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 any opinion it doesn't matter the important is that we're you're practicing those ing and those those ideas for the infinitive so it doesn't matter which one you want to try okay perfect mm -hmm. okay. okay uh well i think it's wrong to pick your nose i don't know if that's correct to pick your nose right in front of the people it's wrong to do it it's disgusting okay. Yes, it is. Um, I think it's a good idea when you ignore um, that other people are telling about you. How, Morena? I, I didn't understand. It's a good idea when you ignore and other people are talking about you. Oh, I think I understand. Like it's a good idea to not pay attention. Yes, it's true. Of their on their comments. Okay. Yeah. Yes, it's true. If not, you're gonna uh, maybe get angry, and and if it is someone that you don't care about, it's of his or her opinion. So I think we have to ignore those comments. Yes, and in the job, it's really common. Mm -hmm. It's true. Also, I think it is a good idea to pray after you wake up. Can you repeat it? Think. Yes, I think it's a good idea to pray after waking up. It's like you have the opportunity to live again, so you have to be thankful for it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Daniel? Do you have something to say? Daniel? Hi, sorry, sorry. Um, I was to talk with my family in this moment, but the topic is, um, it's, um, uh, it's so important to, to try, to try, uh, for understand, I I the topic I the topic is the use of the the teacher <clears throat> the teacher gives the information on WhatsApp, but mm -hmm. you can start talking about what you mean, what, what something in specific is bad for you or is is good for you for example okay. as the teacher said it's very nice to to give food for people on the street oh, and okay. they're on giving food for people mm -hmm. yes instead of okay infinitive, you see here okay i understand thank you okay you're welcome the instruction of uh, teacher talk uh, it was you can talk about different bird in general Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cor correct. So, so the idea is we want to use both forms. We want to use the gerund and the infinitive. And the purpose of using the gerund and infinitive in today's class is to give opinions about anything, because the function of these are to give the opinion. So, you can do it by talking about the action first. For example, driving is very stressful. Okay, or it's very stressful to drive. These are the two forms. So you can use gerund first, or which is the action, or you can start with your opinion. It's very stressful. And then what is very stressful? Ah, it's very stressful to, this is the infinitive, to drive, to, to go to school and work, whatever it is that you think. So it's really only about talking about your opinion, especially in the holidays, uh, whatever you actions you feel or whatever you think. Uh, waiting in, in line at the supermarket is horrible. That's it. It's, it's just having a conversation and that way you don't worry about the grammar. It's only about expressing your opinions about all of the topics that you want. That's the idea. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Welcome. 
an assessment in order to get there to be enrolled right. at IPCA. Nice. Yes, that's why. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, in my case, uh, Karen, I did some studies, uh, but it was long time ago in the uh, in the high school. But they give me, yeah, they give me a certification, like basic one and level two, I think. But the certification with electricity or what no, kind in of Cisco. certification? In CIFCO certification, in CCNA, one and ah, two. Okay. And this was in high school, Leonidas? Yeah, that was in high school. Okay. Well, teacher, we were trying to get some ideas because we <laughs> practice the <laughs> the infinity way, but we haven't too much ideas. We are having problems, teacher, using uh, infinity because gerund is easy, you know, uh, but with uh, infinity, we don't have any idea. It's the same. Can, Only, can, can so, you give us a clue, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to give the one that you gave. Okay, so give me the one with the gerund, and then I will help you so that you can understand how it is with the infinitive. Uh, for example, giving a smile in the morning, the, uh, someone you don't know, it's a good habit. Okay. So, I, in this case, I begin with the habit, what, what you're saying. Okay. It's a good habit. That's it. It's a good habit. Uh, to give a smile to that's someone it. you don't know. And that's the infinitive. That's Yay, all. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So the only difference is that when you start with a gerund, it's easier because it's easy to think of the action. In, yes. the, in the other situation, when you're going to use the infinitive, you don't begin with the infinitive. You begin with the situation. This is like giving your opinion. It's, it's a good idea. It's great. It's nice. It's wonderful. It's horrible. It's terrible. And then the action. That's the that's what makes it a little bit harder because it's usually easy to give the action and then your opinion. But in this, you have to change it. You have to first give your opinion and then talk, then describe what, what you're describing. What are you giving your opinion about? The action. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the, the infinitive is like speaking in Spanish and English. And the okay. gerund is like speaking in English. <laughs> It doesn't happen mm -hmm. in Spanish. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So normally in Spanish, we, we always say eh, is, is very nice. What is, and then what? It's very nice to relax three days. Mm -hmm. That's because this is the way we normally say. We normally, if you think about it, we usually, in Spanish, you usually begin with your opinion, with your statement, and then you describe the action. We don't normally say relaxing for three days is very nice. Mm -hmm. mm, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So it, both forms are correct. It's just a matter of practicing both forms. Peter, can I yeah. say to have a big dream requires the same effort as having a small dream as an infinitive, infinitive price? Um, yes, you can say it. Normally, you wouldn't because you, you're starting the sentence. So because you're starting the sentence, you would normally say having a big dream. Okay. Okay. And then you would use the other. Having a big dream is the same to, to having a small dream. That's what yes. you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's fine. You can start, you can say to have a big dream is mm -hmm. the same as to have a small dream. It's just that normally you wouldn't because you use two times two. And it's usually try to use one in one and then the other form yeah. in another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll let you guys continue practicing. You can do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Paneka. And then, Koyua. Uh, and at what time do you enter? I enter at 7.30. So you wake up very early, Daniel? Yes, yes, yes. I wake up um, about 
5 eh, a.m. 5 a.m. And leave and leave to Huayua at uh, 6 o'clock. In the afternoon? No, 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 no. In, in the morning, I, I leave in my, the, that my home at 6 o'clock. Oh, mm -hmm. uh huh, uh huh. Yes, yes. One hour yeah. all of the day. Well, one hour all of the day. Um, yes, but yes. you don't and face... you, Carol... No, I, you, work, Carolina? I work from my house. I was angry because in Los Chorros, many people want to, to what? To invade your, your lane. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the traffic was very difficult. In my case, uh, to try to pick up my two daughters at school, mm -hmm. maybe one hour. Yeah, to drive in San Salvador, it's very hard, very hard, stressful. Yes, I think yes, that driving stressful. in San Salvador is very stressful. It's very, very stressful. Yes, and for example, as you said, in Los Chorros, it's always the same. Yeah, I, I thought that I, I didn't, yeah, it's, I thought that around three, there was no problem in Los Chorros, but it was very hard today. Los Chorros, Los Urdes, also in, in Nateos, there was a very, very, hard to pass around that that town. Mm -hmm. Elia, do you live in uh, Lourdes? No, I live in Sonsonare. The, the, ah, the, okay. The thing, the thing is that I have to do some uh, some activities in Salvador today, so I uh -huh. have to be the uh, from around from I was in San Salvador around nine and I and I uh, finished around two and a half. Mm -hmm. But you live very further away. Yeah. Elias, everything okay? Okay. Any questions? Anybody having any difficulty still making them? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, are there verbs uh, which we cannot use uh, with with the ing form when we are giving opinions, or we can use with the ing form all the verbs? Um, at, at least the action verbs, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, all of the action verbs, it's not a problem. You can use them. The problem is um, when you call the, like the state verbs. Those are the verbs that don't create an action, like be or... or ah, okay. The state or, verbs. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually, usually those verbs, no. But even those have some occasions, like, you know, mm -hmm. um, being in love is crazy, for example. So, so mm -hmm. even, even those have some exceptions where it's possible. But definitely, all of the action verbs, if it's an action or an activity, yes, you can use it in this form. Because it's all about describing your opinion and your opinion about okay, what thanks. what is happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, thank you. You're welcome. You. You're welcome, Elias. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. No. Okay. Great. So let's just review before it's time for us to go. It's almost time. It's very, very fast, the hour. But um, 
the idea is we're looking at gerunds and infinitives. Gerunds are verbs with ing. Infinitives are to and the verb. The function for today's class is to give an opinion, give a comment, okay? So you talk about what you think about that activity, what you think about that action, that's what we use it for. It's very easy to use it in the case of with the gerund, working, studying, because it's very easy to put the action first and then your opinion. If you put your opinion first, it's like in Spanish. First you give a statement, very nice, and then you give the action. It's very nice to stay home for three days. It's very stressful to drive in Los Chorros, okay? These are the other forms. Yes, it is. <laughs> I know, Cara, I know. I used to, be, I used to live uh, in Lourdes, so <laughs> I know how it is. <laughs> so we are going thanks, to... Thanks, yes, God, you moved, teacher. Yeah, really, and yes. And thanks, God, I'm working from home. That too. Those are the two <laughs> things that help, exactly. Exactly. All right, so um, we're going to pause there. And then tomorrow, we're going to take a look at looking at vocabulary, positive and negative, and applying some other things and information, okay? Okay. Teacher. Okay. All right, guys. Take care. Have take a great care. night. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.